Hi, I'm Julia Stumpf, an Instructional Design Librarian at Ruth Lilly Medical Library. This is the fourth video in our Evidence-Based Medicine Prognosis series. In this video, we look at outcome measures used when comparing two or more populations in Kaplan-Meier survival curves. Survival curves don't always tell you everything you need to know just by looking at them. Visually, you don't know if the difference between the two curves is statistically significant or precise. When you compare two or more survival curves, you should look for the following outcome measures. Hazard ratio, p-value, and confidence interval. The hazard ratio is the relative event rate for the two populations. It is determined using the Cox Proportional Hazards Model. Hazard ratio, or HR, is the hazard rate of the first curve, population A, divided by the hazard rate of the second curve, population B. A hazard ratio's p-value is used to determine if the difference between the survival curves is statistically significant. Typically, the p-value should be less than 0.05. Log rank tests provide p-values. The confidence interval is used to determine the precision of the hazard ratio. You want to look at the width of the hazard ratio's confidence interval. The narrower the confidence interval, the more precise the hazard ratio. Also, it is important to notice the hazard ratio's relationship to 1. If the confidence interval of the hazard ratio crosses 1, this indicates that there is no difference between the two curves. Remember, if the hazard ratio equals 1, the treatment group and the control group have the same survival rate and there is no difference. If the hazard ratio is less than 1, the treatment group has a longer time to event than the control group. And if the hazard ratio is greater than 1, the treatment group has shorter time to event than the control group. It is acknowledged that there is much controversy surrounding the use of BMI and measures like it. This chart is only shown as an example. It looks at the survival of patients with normal BMI compared to the survival of patients who are overweight or obese. Visually, it looks like there is a difference between the normal BMI group survival and the overweight obesity group survival. The log rank test provides a p-value of 0.0395, which is less than 0.05, and indicates that there is a statistically significant difference between the normal BMI group and the overweight obese group. The hazard rate ratio is 0.33, which is less than 1, and shows the normal BMI group has longer time to event than the overweight obesity group. The confidence interval of the hazard ratio is between 0.25 and 0.47. This means that if this study was run 100 times, 95 times the hazard ratio would fall between 0.25 and 0.47. This tells us a couple of things. Number one, 95% of the time the hazard ratio never crosses 1, so there is a difference between the two populations. Number 2, the confidence interval is not very wide, so the hazard ratio might be considered precise. To sum up, the next time you're comparing survival curves in the same graph, remember to look for the hazard ratio, p-value, and confidence interval to get a better understanding of the data.